Hello guys, welcome back to the channel uh, with a new video review uh, of the uh, Duramo SL after 100 miles. Uh, I apologize if it took so long, uh, but in the last month I was uh, pretty busy with the relocation. I was still able anyhow to run uh, with the new uh, Duramo SL and uh, to reach the 100 miles uh, target. So I'm able to give you my final uh, impressions and conclusions about uh, the issue. Uh, so let's check it out. You can find all the specs uh, in the initial video review and uh, also the running dynamic uh, metrics collected so like the ground quarter time the vertical oscillation uh, i'll leave you the link uh, up here say that as usual let's split the video in three main chapters uh, overall condition of the outsole midsole and upper my impressions and at the end my conclusions outsole now as always let's start from the outsole uh, i confirm the grip is not that bad uh, but uh, only in dry conditions uh, I tested out uh, also in uh, wet condition and it was not that good maybe the lugs are not that thick uh, not sure uh, or maybe the Adi wear rubber used in this version usually uh, it's fine the Adi wear rubber it's fine as well as uh, the continental rubber in wet conditions uh, not the same level of grip as the continental rubber but it works but in this version and the Duramo SL somehow it doesn't work maybe the design pattern of the also not sure uh, but uh, I would not suggest to use this shoe in uh, wet condition. Pretty slippery, so pay attention to it. In gravel and dirty roads, it's the same. Not that good uh, uh, grip. Prediction remains the same. Uh, maybe a little bit less uh, because um, the lugs are not that thick. Uh, so between 350, 100 to 400 uh, miles. Midsole now! Let's talk about the missile now, but guys, before to go ahead, don't forget to leave a like if you like this video and to subscribe. Uh, most of you who are watching my videos are not yet subscribed, so subscribe. You will support the channel and uh, you will make me really happy. But let's now continue with missile. We all know that the light strike foam is a pretty stiff uh, uh, foam and in these shoes we have a light motion foam that is even firmer than the light strike foam. So this is important that you know, uh, we have already tested with the Dino Mida in the uh, initial video review, it's pretty stiff. Uh, and uh, the main difference that I noticed with the live strike is that um, usually the live strike foam after 100 miles gets a little bit uh, more comfortable and less firm. Um, so in this case with the light motion, not at all. So it uh, stay firm as at the beginning. So. If you're looking for a comfortable shoe or uh, for something that will get uh, comfortable uh, during the miles, this is not the shoe for you. In case you're looking for a shoe that is uh, pretty responsive and uh, with a good ground feel, uh, despite the height of the uh, stack, uh, then this might be the shoe for you. Therefore, good in terms of durability and response, but uh, not that good in terms of comfort. The midsole, there is not that much uh, exposed foam, so all good in this regard. So prediction about durability, I would say at least 400 miles. After 100 miles, uh, the um, running dynamics uh, metrics I collected are still uh, the same. Uh, as I said, uh, the, the missile looks uh, uh, pretty the same, so still okay. Upper now. Let's talk about the upper now. Testing the shoe in this country, uh, outdoor and uh, on the treadmill, it was some high confirmation that the upper is a pretty warm upper, but at the same time, kind of durable the foot lot down in the rear is pretty good um, in the front uh, so so there is uh, some four foot sliding that i don't like especially for fast workouts uh, uh, it's not ideal uh, at least i prefer to have uh, my uh, foot uh, um, pretty uh, um, stable in the in the in the front of the shoe uh, i don't like uh, the, the four foot sliding so uh, I would say this was already uh, noticed during my initial video review and it stays like it is. Uh, I tried different socks but uh, probably it's because in this upper uh, there is not that much upper material that uh, it's somehow helping uh, to uh, keep the uh, forefoot in place. On the other end it is made of uh, a resistant fabric material uh, which uh, will probably last uh, long uh, even in this regard I would say prediction is between 300 miles 400 miles at the least and your impressions 
the impression I collected during the, uh, these miles is that uh, Duramo SL is uh, uh, not that light shoe that um, we expect and um, it is responsive so perfect for short workouts but uh, doesn't help any rolling motion uh, so not suggested for tempo run uh, it is not that uh, uh, I would say comfortable so not even uh, to be considered as a daily trainer, therefore quite different than the Duramo Speed. The Duramo Speed is lighter, also uh, more uh, comfortable and uh, more versatile. So you can use uh, the Duramo Speed in different trainings, uh, even tempo run, uh, it's pretty fine. So I would not suggest this shoe for slow running or tempo running, uh, only for, um, I would say, fast and short workouts like 200 meters, 400 meters, 600 meters maximum. And uh, on the treadmill, uh, that is uh, softer than the tarmac uh, or on the track and field. I tried to use this shoe as a daily trainer for one week. Uh, my slow running or easy running pace is between 4 minute 30 seconds per kilometer, 5 minute uh, per kilometer. And um, yeah, the feeling was not that good. My knees were not that good, so I would not suggest it. And in conclusion, so in conclusion, we can say for training, uh, uh, I would suggest this shoe only for uh, fast short workouts, uh, no tempo run, uh, no long runs, uh, and uh, it is not suggested as a daily trainer. And uh, for racing, I don't think this shoe is made for racing, therefore I would not use it for, uh, for racing. I hope guys it was interesting and it helps to find the right shoe, that's why I'm doing this video. So just let me know, leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, apologize again for the time it took for this new video, but as I said, I was really uh, busy and, and now I'm back uh, but anyhow I was running so as always as always thanks for watching and keep running <laughs> bye bye from the fight yeah i was struggling to make ends meet thought i had you on my team now the feeling's bittersweet uh because i look back now and it looks different i was trying to win for us but you had a different mission just listen i fought hard every day you gave away someone who would follow you into the grave